Cash Dividends Basics Problem 1. Apricot Corporation has 13,000 shares of 10%, $109 par non-cumulative preferred stock outstanding, and 22,000 shares of no par common stock outstanding. At the end of the current year, the corporation declares a dividend of $220,000. What is the dividend per share for preferred stock and for common stock? We've got a dividend question. What is the dividend per share for preferred stock and for common stock? So we need to do both preferred and common stock per share. One thing to note, if a problem just says dividend, it's assumed to be a cash dividend. It has to say stock dividend to be a stock dividend. Nothing in here suggests a stock dividend. It just says declares a dividend and it gives the dollar amount. Nothing says a stock dividend, so again, it's assumed to be a cash dividend. Keep that in mind. Another important item. We have both preferred and common as the question suggests us to calculate. With preferred stock, there can be cumulative and non-cumulative preferred stock. Here we have non-cumulative, which means that any past arrears or any past dividends that weren't paid. Remember, dividends aren't required to be paid. Interest is required by law. So if you are lending money to a corporation, if the, if the terms state that interest must be paid, it must be paid. With the dividend, I'm sorry, with, with stock, dividend is not required to be paid. There's cumulative and non-cumulative preferred stock. Again, non-cumulative, you don't get the arrears. Cumulative, you do. So this one, when, whenever you have a cumulative problem, you're going you're gonna to see the question is going to get a little bit more involved, more steps. When it's non-cumulative, oh, we can take a breath. You know, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot simpler than this. We just go through the information. We go through the information given to us, and we determine the amount for the preferred and for the common. So the total, the corporation declares a dividend of $220,000. The uh, preferred stock is 10%, $109 par, non-cumulative preferred, and there's 20 um there's 13,000 shares. Sorry, I said 22. That's for a common. Uh, there's 13,000 shares of 10%. So the way we do this is we're going to basically start with the preferred. You always start with the preferred. That's why it's called preferred stock. Preferred stock, preferred. it's preferred over common in terms of liquidation, liquidation line, as well as also receiving dividends. Dividends go first to the preferred shareholders. If there's anything left over, the rest goes, the residual goes to the common shareholders. The way we calculate the dividend on preferred stock is it, it is limited. So there are risks and rewards in terms of picking preferred over common stock. Preferred, you get first bite at the apple, or you get an earlier bite at the apple in terms of liquidation. So if the company goes bankrupt, you can go after the assets. With respect to common, you don't get that preference. You don't, you get a, um, your your claim to those those assets left on bankruptcy is not as strong as a preferred um, share shareholder is, and then dividends same thing. Preferred gets to go first, so there might not be there only might there might be five thousand dollars, and there's already a um, hundred thousand shares of preferred stock, and then that means common is not going to get anything, assuming that there's at least one dollar par. They're not going to get anything. So the idea is that preferred is going to get at least share in some of the amount of the dividend. And again, dividends are not required, as we mentioned earlier. So we start with preferred stock. We calculate that. What we take is we take the par amount, 109, $109. We multiply that by the percentage, the 10%. So $109 times 10%, that's going to equal $10.90. We're then going to multiply the $10.90 per share by the number of preferred shares outstanding, which we're told is 13,000 right here, 13,000 shares. So we multiply by 13,000 shares. This equals $141,700. Now, the question, this is where I gotta pay attention to what the question's asking, always the case. The question is asking, what is the dividend per share for preferred stock and dividend per share for common? We've actually already calculated that. It's $10.90 per share for preferred. Now, we still had to calculate the total of $141,700 because if the 141700 was greater than the total dividend, we'd have an issue. And we have to recalculate the dividend per share for preferred stock. But we don't have that. The 141700 is less than the 220. So now to get the common, remember common dividend is always going to be residual. Keep that in mind. When you're calculating dividends, total amounts per share, you always do preferred first and the residual, whatever's left goes to the common shareholders. And if you're asked for, um, you know, a per share dividend per share amount, then we're going to get the total and divide that by the number of, of common shares outstanding. We take the $220,000 total of a dividend and we subtract away 
the 141,700 that the preferred shareholders received in total. And that calculation, we're going to divide that by the number of shares outstanding. I want to write this down. We always use outstanding shares when we're calculating dividends. Outstanding, not authorized, not issued. We use outstanding shares. The outstanding shares of common stock here, we're told, is 22,000. So we divide that by 22,000, and we're going to get for common shares, each common share is going to earn or get dividends per share of $3.56. So the common, the common per share dividend is $3.56, so per share. The preferred is $10.90 per share. Per share. As you can see, the preferred gets a much bigger, but again, it's possible that if this was $10 million, preferred would be limited to 141700 and then the remaining 800 and 859000 800, sorry, 858300 would all go to the common stock, and they'd be banking. They'd be making so much money. So the idea here is we've calculated the amounts. It's per share. Follow the directions with that. And again, we calculate preferred first. Common gets residual, whatever's left over.